Hey guys, today I'm doing a fall cleaning and I've done a few of these videos in the past and if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos, I have been basically clearing out um, like products that I don't use and so what I do with the products that I don't use because I hate clutter. I, I'm a product junkie but if there's products that I have that I end up with that I realize that they either don't work for me or it's not the right color or whatever it is, I will pass it on to someone else, you know, as quickly as I realize it. So basically I do this a few times a year, just making sure that I don't have any excess stuff or products around me that aren't getting used. So I want to pass them along to people that can use them. So I either give the items away to friends or I take them and donate them to shelters. So I will take products and if you want to do this as well, you just need to call your shelter ahead of time. I donate to the Women Helping Women shelter. So I contact them ahead of time, find out what the rules are, what I'm able to donate, you know, what they accept and what they don't regarding um, products, skincare, makeup, things like that. So that's that's what I do. So I've already I've already done this a few times, so I know what they accept and what they don't. And so I can take makeup, skincare, uh, bath care, you know, bath and body products that down to them. So those women who need the products much more than me they can actually take all of the things that don't work for me. So that's kind of what I do in these videos. And so what I'm doing this time is clearing out some of my cabinets back here. Some of my, some of my skincare products, um, a lot of them are natural products that I tried that didn't work out too well for me, so hopefully they'll work for someone else. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I start out by going through my cabinets and drawers. So this side is Michael's, so I leave that alone. I'm just going through my two cabinets here and these drawers. So I'm gonna check what's out in here. Um, I've got like things that I use a lot in here mixed with things that I haven't used for quite a while, so I can probably cull through this and find out some of the stuff that I don't need anymore. Burt's Bees, I do like those masks. This, I can pass that on to someone else because that's the, well, the Alba leaving conditioner. I don't use that. I do use those. This one, okay. I've got, I was testing a lot of natural products for a while and in fact I'm gonna do an updated, um, like sort of like my natural products journey. But I do have several here that did not work out for my skin. And I think the reason is there are a lot of ingredients in these. And I, I can't like figure out which ingredient it is that's like irritating my skin. So basically I just, I can't use these. And here's another one. So I've got the pumpkin peel, the pumpkin renew cream. So there's something in those that were uh, causing irritation. This is the Alba papaya enzyme face mask. Uh, I think this was okay, but it, I didn't really get any results, so I'm going to pass that on to someone else. These are, let's see, toothpaste and, I don't know, some deluxe size sample stuff. I'm just going to take that out. Um, let's see, eye cream. You know what? I do not use, like, eye cream anymore. So both those, nope, no need to have those. I, I will save um, what I do use for under my eyes for a different video. Yeah, that'll be in my natural products journey video. Uh, these, I'm kind of on the fence about. I do like my Ole Henriksen, although I'm not sure if I've noticed like any major results from them. So I'm just going to leave those alone for now. This one, this has the hydroquinone. I think that's how you pronounce it. There it is there. Uh, skin lightener. You know what? Um, I think I'm going to actually return that to Sephora because I only used a tiny bit of it and... Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about using the hydroquinone. These, um, shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave all the Ole Henriksen for now and I'll decide maybe at the end of the video. All right, the next cabinet I'm gonna be cleaning out is one that I'm in and out of on a daily basis. So there are a lot of products in here that I use regularly. Well, uh, there's a few products that I use regularly and then a lot of products that don't work for my skin. So I need to let go of those now. So first off, let me start with 100% Pure. I've tried several of their skincare products. I actually bought like a little deluxe um, mini kit that had, uh, it was their brightening stuff. So their, their brightening line. So it had like the brightening cleanser, brightening tonic, and a brightening moisturizer, little mini bottles. And this I found to be too drying for my skin. Now, 
you know, I mean, it depends on your skin type, right? So my skin was just a little too sensitive to that. Uh, for the Desert Essence, I tried several of the Desert Essence products, and there's several that I really love, and then some that I, I just, I have other products that have replaced them. So I tried, like, a couple of their uh, cleansers, face cleansers, and these are their uh, pomegranate line. So this is the Age Reversal Pomegranate Facial Cleanser and Serum, and those were fine, but the, I just didn't get any, like, um, you know, they didn't solve any uh, skin issues for me. So I'm going to pass those along to someone else. I have, like, this kind of stuff here. These are pads, so, like, cleansing pads, like, um, toner sort of pads. But the problem is with these, a lot of them have alcohol in them, and I found that that is one thing that my skin does not like. It does not like, and I'm talking... SD alcohol or denatured alcohol um, and if it's in like the first couple of ingredients it's usually too drying and irritating for my skin. So these both have alcohol. These are two gentle, let's see, gentle stimulating face scrub. Does this have alcohol in it? Wait, no it does but it's at the very end of the ingredients. So I might keep a hold of this for a little bit longer, we'll see. And then this is a moisturizer. I stopped using um, like commercial, I guess that's what you'd call it, commercial made moisturizers. So whether it's natural or not, I just, I have my own regimen now. This is the Thoroughly Clean Oil Control Lotion. Uh, you know, I can't recall if this actually worked for me or not. I'm trying to look and see if it had any alcohol in it. It does, but it's at the end of the ingredients. Um, so yeah, I, I actually can't comment on how that works or not because I can't remember. It's been so long. But I'm happier with the products that I'm using now, so I'm going to pass it on to someone else. This was a blemish touch stick that I got a while ago, and let's see, uh, from Desert Essence. And it is a rollerball, and I made the mistake of actually using it as a rollerball and didn't realize that that was kind of gross because you're touching it on your, you know, breakouts or... You know, you're touching it on your skin that has bacteria, and then it gets in there, and then that's just like gross, right? So, um, that is going in the garbage. So, let's see. What do we clean the top shelf. Tea tree oil, Desert Essence tea tree oil. Love, 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 love. Have to have that in my skincare, no matter what now. Uh, the 100% Pure Brightening Scrub and Mask. I did like this. Next, I have John Masters. So everything in this shelf here is all John Masters. I think they were okay, but they just didn't solve my skincare concerns, you know, my skincare issues. So I'm actually going to pass this whole set along to a friend. So this is the Boja Luminizing Black Mask. It, that's okay. I'm not like wowed by it. Like this is, I have no idea how much this is in Sephora. It's like maybe around 30 something dollars. Maybe almost 40, I don't know. So, I won't be repurchasing this, but I will continue to use it up until it's gone. Uh, this is the Boja Black um, Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. I do like this. This is a really nice lightweight cleanser, or cleanser, <laughs> lightweight moisturizer, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't leave me like greasy or oily or anything. Although I'm not really buying, I'm not going to be repurchasing, I don't think. Well, wait, I don't want to say that for sure, but right now I am really enjoying what I'm currently using. So um, I'm going to keep using that up. I may repurchase in the future if I really feel the need to, but so far, yeah, so we are keeping that. This is a little clear complexion moisturizer. Nope, don't need that. The Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. Nope. Won't be repurchasing this. We'll continue to use it up, but, or I'll try to use it up, I guess. I've pretty much been, what was that little tap? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm keeping this just to use it up, but I will never repurchase this again. I just, I just think that it's too expensive and it's an unnecessary purchase. Uh, this is the Boja Enlivening Amino AG Eye Treatment, Eye Gel, Eye Cream. Won't repurchase this just because um, I'm using natural oils under my eyes now. You know, I think I'm going to pass this on to someone else. So I'll just go and put that down there. Let's see what's behind drawer number one. Okay, I've got cotton exfoliating pads, cotton pads. I do not like these at all. I don't know what is in there that's the exfoliating little part or, you know, the little particles, 
but they annoy the heck out of me and I will not put those on my face. I use them to ruin my nail polish and I don't even like them for that. So those have got to go to someone else. Um, hopefully someone else will like them. These are normal, so I'm keeping those. This is like an old Neutrogena, like for uh, cleansing wipes, so I don't need that. Next. All right, I've got more of my Kirkland wipes. I've got um, my L'Oreal brass uh, toner. And oh, here's some good products I can get rid of here. The Now Solutions, the Vitamin C Gentle Scrub, and the C Buckthorn and Vitamin C Moisturizer. Nope, didn't work for me. In fact, there is something that is in either one of those or this cleanser. And yeah, okay, vitamin C and honey cleansing gel brightening system. So these were all for brightening, so that always attracts my attention when it says brightening. So I tried those as a set, and oh my gosh, I got blackheads like like I've never experienced in my life before on my lower jaw, like my, yeah, my chin jaw area, and I couldn't believe it. I've never had them there. Anyways, so thank goodness that finally went away. Um, and then, oh, Plumeria shampoo. Nope, couldn't stand the smell of that. It was too strong, too... Uh, flowery for me, which I know that's funny because obviously it's going to be flowery, it's plumeria, but I like the smell of plumerias, but I don't like, it kind of, I don't know, it smelled more sort of overpowering and strong. And Over here, I've got this that I pulled out of my drawer already, which is the 100% Pure Brightening Care Kit, which is what I already told you guys. Um, that's where the toner, the little moisturizer, the toner, and the uh, face cleanser came from. And it's got this adorable little brush. It's brand new, have not used it, but you know what? It's super cute, but someone else could use that. I hate to break that open and take it myself when I could give this as a whole little set to someone else. So I'm gonna put those other products back in here and pass it along. And then it's got the little uh, brightening scrub and mask, which I really do like, but I, I want someone else to have that. And this little box here goes to that Murad um, H spot and pigment lightening serum, which Sephora actually I specifically went in for you know uh, questions about acne scars, what products to use to lighten those, and this is the one that they recommended over the Murad um, acne scar lightening serum, so that's why I ended up with this. But you know what, I I really prefer to just not use the hydroquinone. I think that I'm just gonna go for it naturally. So I know that there are oils that you can use out there because I've experienced it already and oils that I'm using have been helping the acne scars. So I think I'm going to, it's a bummer that I tore that package, shoot. Uh, I hate having to return stuff, but um, this was expensive and they said that it, you know I could if I didn't like it. So I'm going to stick with that, uh, getting rid of that. So um, I have some Derma E products here and oh, oh that's another, um, this is the 100% pure primer. So I'm going to go ahead and give that uh, with that stuff. So the Derma E products, um, I tried the mask, wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, I tried the Evenly Radiant Overnight Peel. I think it made me break out. This is a moisturizer. As I said, I'm not going to be purchasing moisturizers anymore. And I haven't for a while, but I don't know, I had that one. I thought it would go with those products, but yeah, I'm, I'm not into those so much. I'm going to pass those on. And I think that that's pretty much it for skincare. Oh, oh, let me double check my makeup. So let's see here. What is this doing in here? Oh, I don't like when stuff's out of place. That's supposed to be in my other drawers. Uh, down on this side here, speaking of out of place, all these lipsticks laying on top, I need like a new way to organize, organize my lipsticks because that is just not, not very professional looking. All right, so I've got two lipsticks here from Revlon, and these I had set these off to the side per, um, on purpose because I knew I wasn't going to be keeping these. So that is the Jordana Taupe brow pencil. It was I think it was a little too warm for me for my brows, so I got to pass those on or that on. And this is Sassy Mauve, and then this is another mauve one, Mauvey Night. So those um, that's the makeup I'm going to get rid of. And I think that's all. Oh wait, here's the John Masters. I'm going to give that away with the products. Well, I made quite a mess of things, but it's better. It's better that I clear out and don't... I hate messes hiding in drawers or cupboards. I just cannot stand that. So it's better that I clear stuff out. Alright, so that was all the products that I'm going to be getting rid of for this fall spring cleaning. Fall spring cleaning. 
that's weird. <laughs> so this is everything that I'm going to be going through. Um, I've got my products over there too. So I'm going to sort through everything, decide what I'm going to be donating to the women's shelter, and then whatever items that I have that I'm going to give away to a couple of friends. So yeah, that was everything and I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if these videos are interesting to you guys or if they're boring. I have no idea. I just like to film all kinds of stuff that I'm up to, you know, whatever I'm up to, whatever I'm doing. So I hope that you like this or if not, um, yeah, so I guess let me know if you like these kind of videos and I'll keep doing them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.